Hi everyone, welcome back to Tara's Take. So happy Friday. Today we are going to be making some, I'm going to attempt to be making some pencil and pen holders for my journals and I thought that I would bring you guys along. Um, I have chosen six by eight sheets and eight by eight sheets to work with and we will see how this goes. Um, you'll, need a, you'll need some scissors possibly a bum folder or your scissor handles. You'll need some glue, some paper clips, and a selection of papers. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, also you may want to bring along some paper that you can use as a backdrop if you you can distress that area as well. Um, I'm, I'm going to be using book page and I'll probably, but I know for sure I'm going to be using some of this packing paper. Okay. And so all I did was I brought, okay, I want my, let's see, yeah, I want it to be about that way. I brought one corner down as straight as possible, okay, and depending on how far down you bring your corner is going to determine how narrow or wide your pen holder will be. Okay, I know these are not um, brand new, like my creation at all by any means, but I just thought it'd be fun to make some. I have never made any for my journals, and I was like, hmm, you know, that'd be something to have in my journal, and I don't usually have. So I'm, I didn't watch any videos. I just sat down and began to fold the paper myself, hoping that I could do it, and, you know, hopefully I can. So what I did was I folded that all the way over to that edge. Now I'm going to fold this one, okay, over to the other edge and try to get this as even, nice and even as possible on the bottom there. Because that's gonna, of course, determine if your paper is even. Okay. And, okay, now. What I am going to do is I am going to trim off this inside because it's making it very bulky and I don't really think that it's necessary to have it. Okay, and I'm going to glue this down just, just lightly so it stays here and I don't have it fiddling around and maybe getting in the way of the pen or the pencil and stuff later on. Let's see, there we go. And we can also glue this side down. Like I said, just lightly. Okay. Now I am going to take some of my. Actually, on this one, I think instead I want to. Where's my brush? I'm going to do some quick. I'm just going to take some. Where's my oxide? I just had it. What am I going to do with it? Oh well, I'll use the ink, I guess. I'm gonna take some Distress ink, and I am just gonna run that along the inside here and distress this. Okay. And then, get this top part. Now I am going to be adding a paper clip to this and I'm thinking I want to do it kind of like we did our paper clips the other day on our coin, um, our coin folders. So I'm going to trim this off as well. I'm a little bit uneven on this front piece here, I can see it. Oh well, I'm going to trim it. It won't show with these roses. If I had words or something, it would probably stand out. Okay, so there's the, the holder itself. I'm just going to trim this bottom because it's a little bit off. Let's see. Ooh, that's very off. <laughs> okay, there we go. That is a wee bit better. And... Okay, so now I'm going to glue, where's my glue? Here it is. I'm going to glue right here. 
And actually, I'm going to wait for just a minute before I glue any more, and I'm going to grab one of my paper clips. I'm wondering if my I have to use little ones because this is too short. I was going to use a larger one, but let me let me check here because this is going to go on the inside. Oh, you know what? We're going to have to do these from the top because it'll be in the way of the pen. I just realized that. Yeah. Okay, so it'll have to be from the top. So before I glue this shut, um, I am going to put some paper in there simply to cover. To cover that um, paper clip. Okay. So I'm just going to do, I always call this the Tina fold where Tina measures like this at the edge of something. And that way the paper clip is glued in. Now you could also cover these paper clips in the back side like we did the other day on the coin folders. So you don't have it showing. Mine's kind of pretty. It's a rose gold. So I'm thinking it won't be so bad to have it, you know, be there. Okay, and then I'm just going to run like I did before the glue here on this side. And then I'm going to run some here. And I'm going to run some along this edge to seal it down. Okay. These are, they're actually very easy. Okay. Grab me a dry wipe here. Okay, so there's the paper clip on the back. It'll go down on your page. Just going to do a little distress in here around my edges. And because they're going to be able to see the back of it, I'm going to do the back as well. I really like this paper. It's very pretty. The brown roses. I like that very neutral. But there we go. And like, here we go. I'll put a pencil in. And now you have your little holder. I got a little bit of glue down there. When I decorate it, it'll be okay. Yeah. So there's your pencil holder. Super, super easy. Let me get a piece of paper here real quick so I can see it on a page. How about in our waterfall journal? How's that? Just for fun. It's just... Put it on the page here. There we go. So there's your pencil holder. Okay. Now let's do one with that eight by eight paper. And I'm gonna see if I can fold this right. Earlier I was struggling to get my folds correct with this size paper, so all right. And I'm going to go ahead and put some of this down before I even start with the folding because then that way I have my, the internal part done and I'm going to go ahead and even, I think I'll even go ahead and glue in my paper clip. We're going to try it a different way and see how that works. Oh, I'm using that, that bottle of <clears throat> that bottle that um, leaks. I have that one bottle. Now I'm just going right into the center here. Okay. And I'm going to glue that. I have no idea if this is going to work or if I should have waited. And I don't know. We'll see, huh? Okay. 
move that little baby down. And then I'm going to start folding. I really got that paper even. That was good. <laughs> so I'm going to bring this over. And I'm, I'm taking it in a good two and a half inches, I would say, on the fold. And I'm trying, like I said, I'm trying to keep it as straight as possible. Cornered, you know, like this part, as straight as possible. And then I'm just bringing the other side equal to where I see that one at. Now we're going to do our little over here and then make sure your bottom, that's make sure you're even at the bottom, okay, because that's going to impact your words and if you have words on your paper or anything that needs to be straight, you want to make sure that your fold on the bottom is even. And then we're going to bring this side over. Same thing on this side, you're going to want to make sure that your side, your bottom part is straight, okay, before you seal that fold down, okay, sorry, paper's thicker now, so it's a little harder to fold it. by a hair up here. Gotta bring that there we go. Gotta bring it in a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Now because I put my paper clip in before I did anything else, it's a little off center. I'm not gonna worry about that simply because it's not gonna matter in the long run. But if you're really worried about it being centered then do not glue that in first. Wait before you glue down your paper and Make sure you're even, okay? All right. Now I'm going to make this one a little bit shorter. I don't need it this tall. So I'm going to put my pencil in and kind of get an idea out there. So I'm going to bring my paper to, I guess, probably about here. Okay. And now, again, I'm going to fold this over and then trim it off. Okay. Hmm. And I'm trying to bring this as close as possible without cutting that, that part right here. Okay, my glue is leaking. That is so annoying. This one bottle, it does that. Oh, I forgot to glue down that inside. Remember I said earlier, glue down the inside? That's why. That was my reason behind that, and I didn't do it. Now my thing is flopping around. Here we go. Okay. All right. Now... I'm going to do one last little trim right here. Put some paint glue on the inside. <coughs> and then run it down this side. And over. I guess technically, in a way, this could almost be a double. Oh, see, and when I folded it back out, that's a little uneven. I'm just pushing that over a little so it goes to that edge there. There we go. That's better. Okay. I may have to re-glue that because that was crooked. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to have to re-glue the bottom. So, like I said, that bottom part, it's really important to get it even. Okay. 
There we go. Let's see. There's the second one. And like I said, these are wide enough that you can actually fit a couple of pencils in there. So that's not bad. Now, oh, I was looking for the first one I did. I'm like, where did I put it? <laughs> I sat it over there. All right, Tippy. I'm giving her her second snack. She eats these little snackies. Come here. Come on. Here, buddy. There you go. Good girl. All right. Now, we'll do another one with these papers. Oh, gosh. There's so many pretty ones here. I'm having a hard time deciding which one I want to use. Let's use this roses. Aren't those nice? Okay, so instead, again, instead of doing what I did before, let's see, I'm going to put these, um, I'm, I'm going to measure that after the fact because I don't want the paper clip to be crooked. I, mean, I don't mind that it is on that one, but I'm not going to make it crooked on purpose. <laughs> so I'm going to do my folds on my corner first, and then I'm going to, um, I'll glue down my paper on the inside after that. Once I kind of get a sense of where the middle is, you know, so I'm going to do my fold down, making sure that I'm even on the side or on the bottom. I mean, okay. And then on this one, I may have to trim the tiniest bit of this off, but that's all right. I think I kind of like the six by eights a little bit better simply because it gives you a little more space to have more pencils or pens, or they could even put a few papers in there, you know, if they if they wanted. Turn this edge while I'm here. Okay. I agree with Tina. As you do stuff and as you go along, you kind of start to get a sense of of um, the easier way to do stuff. You notice that? I've noticed that too. Um, I didn't practice these. Like I said, I didn't watch a video. I didn't practice anything. I just sat down and said, I'm going to make me some pencil holders. And here's what I think I want them to be. And I think this is what I saw somebody do before. <laughs> you know, so I... Okay, so now we're ready to put our paper on the inside. And this time, I think I do want to try and use a book page. Let me grab uh, one of these older ones here. Yeah, these are old. And I'm just going to go ahead and go glue this down. I don't need it to be that whole thing, so I'm going to tear some of it off. Well, maybe I'll cut it. I don't need it to be that whole piece at all. You only need, and I don't even need it to go across. However, I'm going to leave it because I don't want to get it at the wrong size. I'd rather fold it and, you know, deal with it. And now because we've done our fold, we know where our paper clip needs to go. So we can actually um, get it centered now when we put it in there. Okay. All right. Let's do it. This paper is very brittle, very old. It's only there for show. It won't cause really any type of thickness to be added to, at least not much. The glue will probably do more than the paper itself. Okay, and then I'm going to stand up and do this because otherwise I might not be as gifted at putting this down evenly as I was I don't want to say gifted, let's say lucky <laughs> to get it in the right spot. Okay, there we go. Oh, I do hate how that art glitter glue leaves lines. Look at that. Oh, well, at least it's only going to be this little teeny tiny portion. And then I am gluing these triangles down here. Okay. Okay. 
And this one I left, I was able to leave it, fold it, and not have to cut so much off, which I'm glad. There's that side. And I guess you could, you know, glue all this down and stuff, but I just don't really see where it's going to matter too, too much for me. There we go. There we are. I think I'm getting better <laughs> as I'm doing them. There we are. Oh, I like that one. That was pretty. Now, I do think I'm going to glue. I didn't think about it until right now. I'm going to glue this little bit right here so that I'm noticing it's kind of gapping open right there. So, in case you notice that, that fixes it. So, on this one, I'm going to show you real quick. So, you can do multiple, you know. Let me see. Do I have another pin? Yes. Look at that. It's holding three so far, and I'm not pushing them all the way down because the glue's not quite dried yet. But yeah, I really like that one. That was cute. Okay, so I'm going to do another one with those papers. I like those papers. <clears throat> now this is a map. I think I will... Hmm, I don't really think it matters. They're kind of all over the place, huh, guys? I'm going to fold this in. Maybe I'll be blessed and fold it to the place where I did the last one and it'll be perfect. <laughs> That'd be nice. That one was really in a good spot. And making that as even as possible with the other one. And I am just eyeballing it. You guys, if you're a measurer, um, by all means, you feel free to measure this out. I'm just not a measurer, as you know, for the most part. If I absolutely need to be, I will. Okay, I'm going to fold this one in. I do think it helps if you fold these in um, separately by themselves. So what is everybody doing for, um, yeah, this one's going to be narrower because I really brought that one over, as you can see. Like I said, these triangles determine how far, uh, how wide, because if you look at this one, I, I think that's like how I really like it. I think from now on, I'll try my hardest to get this portion to stay at about, what is it? Yeah, about three inches. That's what I thought. Or two and a half. It's two and a half inches wide. And I like that. I like that a lot. So, yeah. Um, anyway, so what do you guys have planned for the weekend? Anybody got any plans? I, um, it's our anniversary on Sunday. But he has to work this weekend because of all the rain here. He's going to work on Saturday. So Sundays, we're not going anywhere on Sunday for our anniversary. Because that, we would have gone out on Saturday anyway. Um, yeah, that's a little much, so, just don't want to see him have to do all that. I'm going to trim this little pocket. I don't think it really needs to be there, does it? Yeah, maybe I'll leave it just in case, who knows? I may cut it off and be like, oh no, I shouldn't have cut that one off. Um, anyway, yeah, he's, Cordy's got to work, so... I'm not going to be doing anything, but it's our two-year anniversary. We've been together four years, but we've been married for two. Yeah, so isn't that exciting? I'm excited. We're going to go out. We decided that this year we are going to start going out to eat at restaurants that are representative of... We're going to try to go out to places where we've never been before. So, like, you know, for different types of food, like, or at least where one of us has never been. So, like, we're going to go out for Vietnamese food, Korean food, Indian food, um, French food. I've never, I'm French, but I've never had French food. <laughs> I know that sounds funny, but it's true. I was looking here to see if I could use this, actually, as the inside for this. So, yeah, we're, we're thinking that that would be really exciting to 
experience. I wonder, I'm looking here real quick to see if this will. Oh, my neighbor, can you hear that motorcycle? I know sometimes Tina will say, or those that are on YouTube will say that, you know, there's a sound outside. Sorry for the noise. I can't ever hear the noise, so I'm not sure if you guys can hear it, but if you can, I'm sorry for the noise. My neighbor is, as usual, out there revving engines because he has started a garage in his front yard. And <laughs> the other day, I had to actually... Um, go out and well when I got home from the store he had hit one of his customers I guess there's two older men and they were out in front of his house looking in the engine of a vehicle talking and they had parked their truck right in front of my our driveway and blocking you know two driveways because our neighbors is right there too and so when I got here <laughs> Cordy warned me in a text he said don't be mad the neighbors got you know somebody out there and they're parked in our way and I, I said I'm not mad I got out and I said excuse me and he, they were like yes I go is this your vehicle and they said yes and I said could you possibly move it you're blocking two driveways here thank you so much and they were like oh I'm sorry yes thank you so so sorry you know and I told my husband there they're not blocking us anymore because <laughs> I just uh, I'm like just I'm not gonna do this I'm not mad but just don't do that don't block people's driveways. You can see that people live there. It was funny. Okay, I'm trying to trim this down. I got this one over a little bit. I'm hoping this works because I like that map background. I think it'd look cool on there to have it on the inside as well. Okay, let's glue this down. this one to fold in if I can yep not quite even I'm gonna have to trim this little bit off mm -hmm. so if you go over with your paper you have to get it really close to make sure that when you fold that in it's not showing white right there okay so I'm probably making this more difficult than it should be I apologize if I am. I don't get on here all the time where I've not practiced something first, but I did not practice these. I just went for it because I wanted to make them. So I'm figuring it out with you guys. <laughs> oh, what of you made me cry this morning. You were so sweet and kind and blessed me so much. Actually, two of you made me cry this morning. And I... I just wanted to say, you guys are amazing. You really, really, really. You are a group of sisters and family that I can just see us knowing each other and growing to know each other better and better as the years go by, honestly. Um, I have been so blessed to be getting to know all of you. <laughs> My goodness, I told my husband, you know, I, I go through this kind of, you kind of go through a little bit of doubt, you know, when you're doing like the devotions. That was, I know that was the Lord. And it's really a passion in my heart to share the gospel. Um, of course, I'm a minister and I'm not really out ministering. And it means the world to me to share the gospel. Um, but I was so amazed and, and blessed by the fact that the reception that you guys have given the devotions and I'm so grateful for you, for your love and that you reach out to me and I guess the reason I'm saying anything about this is because I I'm trying to express it's hard for me I'm trying to express you know I go through all these self-doubts you do when you do this kind of thing oops I put the wrong side I guess it'll still work but that's cute though right but you like go through all these self-doubts and you know when you're on a channel on YouTube and you're sharing the gospel over crafting and you know you, you kind of I'm new to it so you know of course the enemy is going to play with your head and tell you that you're not doing the right thing or that you're going to push people away or viewers aren't going to want you to do that you know all these things that you hear the enemy say and all the things you could imagine are being said are being said 
So you guys writing me and telling me how blessed you are that that spoke to you for that day, for that moment. Oh, it lets me know I'm on track and I want you to know, don't stop. If you feel like the Lord is leading you to speak, please feel free to tell me because it, it means a lot to me. It really, it helps me. It really does. It encourages me. And so I thank you so much for encouraging me. I'm kind of taking this in because I do want these to be about two and a half inches and I'm just kind of trying to eyeball it and get this a little wider. Okay, so that's what I'm doing right now. Is I'm standing over it and just trying to kind of get an idea of where I want that to be. I really liked that fold. I liked how wide that was. And that's why I'm looking at doing it again. <laughs> Aren't these cute, the little scissors? They're so adorable. Still didn't do it quite as good as I did the last time. That one time. I will. I'll have to trim. That's okay. What time is that? All right, good. Anyway, yeah. Seriously. You guys are a blessing. You tell me that I'm I'm a blessing to you. And I'm telling you, you're a blessing to me. Okay? I, it, honestly. You really are. It's... It's hard to express, but you really are. How did I do that? I still didn't do it wide enough. How wide did I do that one? Oh, yeah. I guess I did do it about another half inch. Huh? I like the size of that one. This one just still feels a little bit, you know, a little narrower than I wanted. I know it's it's kind of weird to have it that wide, but at the same time, I really I like that. So we'll just trim this puppy off again. Looks like I got this one folded a little uneven on the bottom, which is a bummer. But I will. Okay. And we'll go over here. We'll trim this side off. I don't know if I told you. I think I did tell you guys actually. But it was so funny that. Um, yeah, never mind. I did tell you. I remember telling you. I'm not going to repeat myself. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to use this one this time. This, this is just a piece of coffee dyed paper, and I was playing last night with um, a spatula, like a paint, you know, spatula. And I was taking it across my um, my new, newly re-inked what do you call it, my ink oxide, and that I cannot seem to find. I had here, right here on the desk, and now I'm, like, it's not here. But anyway, I was taking that thing and scraping it across, and I was just scraping it across the paper, and it just kind of came out kind of cool. So, yeah. So we'll use that this time. Um, and I'm going to try to put, try to put my paper clip on correctly with the small part on the inside. Okay, there we go. And I am not going to use that big a width. I'm going to go ahead and bring that down just a little bit. Yeah, I like the way that looks. I just thought it looked fun. All right. And then also there was some of you who reached out and commented to me that have never commented before. And I wanted to say to you, thank you for letting me know you're there because now I was able to add you to my prayer list in my prayer journal. And also, I know you're there, and, and I know I'm talking to you. I, I, it's nice to know who you're talking to when you guys communicate. I'm starting to comment more. I'm not a commenter. So what I was going to tell you is I totally get not being a commenter. I'm not a commenter. Um, 
not much. I have lots I want to say to that person, but I've always assumed that they're so overwhelmed with comments and they're so busy that, you know, it's my comments not really going to matter in the long run, you know, in the scheme of things. So I don't comment. Well, guess what, you guys? Your comments matter. Even if that person, I'm telling you, even if, uh, let's take some really big people who can't even, they can't comment because there's like 5,000 to a video uh, or, you know, 1,500 to a video like Tina or Natasha or Pam or any of those. I want to tell you something. As someone who's now doing this uh, YouTube and this is now my full-time job and everything, I, I want you to know something. It matters. They read it. Even if all you get is a like or a heart from them, um, they read it and it matters and it blesses them. It lets them know you're there and it matters. I know for me, it, it, it literally makes my day. And right now I'm still at the point where I can comment back, praise God, and, and to everybody, you know. And I'm very happy about that because I don't ever, I'm one of those people who used to, uh, I used to kiss every single one of my stuffed animals at night because I didn't want any of them to feel left out. So that gives you an idea of what my heart is because I'm still that same girl, you know, inside. That's me. I don't want to leave anybody out. And I try to, if I've ever missed, like, one of your replies back to me and I didn't comment, it's because I didn't see it. It has nothing to do with the fact that I didn't care. Um... It has everything to do with the fact that I might not have seen it. And that's all. Just so you know. Okay? And if you got a comment back from me like days later, it's because I just saw it. I didn't realize that it had come through. Um, you know, so, yeah. <laughs> so, comment to your favorite YouTubers and, you know, help them out by letting them know you're there and encourage them. Because they really do read them. I'm sure of that. I'm sure of that. When they tell you that they read them, they do. Because they mean the world to us. Look at that. That's so cute. And I love the little, you know, just that funky little paper in there. Yeah. So let's decorate one. Um, we have, we have this one. This little, I like that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I like that. I Actually, I like all of them. I'm not as crazy about this one, I, I think. But these four, I really like. Hmm, which one, which one do I want to decorate? Let's see. <laughs> this does not fit, but the colors match. I was like, ooh, pretty. No, it's not going on there because it's way over, over speak on that. Okay, I'm just grabbing. Oh, here it is. I found it, found it. See, told you it was here. <laughs> Couldn't find it anywhere. All right, let's see. I want to see. I'm see. I'm back. I can use my regular stuff again. I'm so excited, so excited because I just love um, my scripture references and my, you know, and I just like the randomness of my stuff. Does that make sense? I was looking here to see if I happen to have a. Oh, this is a cute tab. That would be cute on there. I was, I was looking to see if I happen to have, like, um, I'm going to put that on there, a little thing that says something about it is written, you know, or something about writing, or just real quick, because of this being a pen holder. Let's see. Just let me check. Really quick. <laughs> Love is patient. Love is kind. My friend Shannon, I love you, Shannon. She um, posted a, she like shared with me a post she did, um, oh my gosh, seven years ago when her grandmother passed away. She had posted me singing at the funeral. I think I mentioned to you guys before, I always end up singing at Shannon's family funerals. Um, and that she wants me to record, I always sing Amazing Grace, and she wants me to record, um, Amazing Grace for my own funeral. I'm like, Shannon, no, that is morbid. I'm not going to sing at my own funeral. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, but she posted that. So, yeah, I was like, oh, my girl. And I, and I listened to part of it, and it was funny because I'd forgotten that I had written 
uh, I actually wrote a, a pass, a, a whole verse dedicated to her grandma and grandpa because her grandmother had passed away. I did the same thing when I sang for her husband's funeral. Oh, I like that one. That's pretty on there, huh? And so I still decorate that one. That's going to be, that's going to be the one, you guys. Um, but yeah, and she posted that and I was listening to it. And I was like, oh, I forgot I wrote a whole passage. It's so cool that the Lord gave me that. Because he did that twice with, like I said, I did it for her husband. Her first husband passed away. Um, I think I've told you guys this story. He died on a missions trip in Africa. Uh, he was a retired police officer and minister. Um, he had gotten saved after he met me and Shannon when we were all friends. We led him to Christ and uh, he was just an amazing man of God and loved the Lord with all of his heart. And he went on this big trip to Africa with a marriage ministry that Shannon and him work with. And she didn't go. She stayed home with their daughter and their, and his, well, her son and his stepson. And Leo was, Leo was killed in a car accident there. And, um, it was horrible. It was horrible. He was only like, he was an early retiree of the police force. He was only about 40, I don't know, maybe 47 when he passed away. And, um, yeah, it was, it was just awful. And so Shannon had, um, had me sing at his service. So anyway, I didn't mean to get depressing. I was just trying to, I was just trying to make conversation. I was telling you my, my bestie, she posted me singing and it was very sweet and it blessed me bless me because she always says she's my biggest fan so <laughs> and that I'm her favorite singer which is so sweet okay I like this because the flowers they match the color scheme really well right and then I was thinking we could put one of these little folks on here maybe one that's maybe I have these, you know our paper dolls you know what I mean you know me and my paper dolls love 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 me some paper dolls I'm just looking here oh that's pretty I wonder if them let's see standing off to the side They just got married. Uh, I'm not sure if that's really, I don't know. Hmm. Let's see. I was looking real quick for our little words here. Here's one that says memories. Well, now that I'm Looking, I'm not sure that's necessarily the. Nah. I could say beautiful. I think I will put them on there. So I'm going to do a little, little groundwork. Haha, <laughs> literally. Where's my brush? Where's my brush? I've got everything covered up over here. Uh, I didn't put it away. Hmm. I didn't think I did. All right. I'm just getting a little bit of water. Just kind of. I have that other brush I like to use a little bit better, but. This one's not doing too bad. Okay. I am going to glue this on. I like this one. Have faith. That's a good way to start out a marriage, right? Oops. I told you I'm getting back in a romantical mood. Wanting to do girly stuff and more romantic, pretty things and frilly things. <laughs> That and total grunge. That seems to be where my brain is, is headed right now. And we're going to darken these, these guys a little bit. 
age up the picture. I like this one. And these are kind of fun. I don't know. I've never, you know how there's certain things that you're just not really so much drawn to making and they're cool, but you just don't make them. And that's kind of been me with the, um, with the whole pencil holder. Um, and then today, I don't know, I just thought of it and was like, oh, you know what? I have never made those. I might as well put something like that in my journal. My goodness. You know, the person's going to be journaling. Makes sense that they would want <clears throat> that they would want a um, place to put their pen or, or their pencil. So, yeah, I don't know. Today was the day, I guess. Just sometimes things don't don't necessarily grab you right away. And that's kind of where I was. But let me know in the comments. Did you guys make these with me? They were really easy. Do you like them? Do you not like them? Are you like me and you're just kind of like, eh? I don't really need that in my journal. Do a little gold around this so it sparkles a little bit more. And then I was thinking, put beautiful right there. Because this is, I was thinking lace and stuff, but then I changed my mind because this is going to be, I mean, I could have put something like at the top or something, but this is going to be more, um, move, you know, it's going to be a floater type thing. So I don't want to have a ton of stuff on it that would get snagged or anything like that. So there we go. We got our little, I'm going to do a little more gold because I have to. I can't help myself. I just can't seem to help myself. I love it. Um, yeah, so there's our little pencil holder decorated and looking cute. And uh, made. And they're pretty sturdy. You know, like I said, this one's made out of a cardstock, so it's a little sturdier than even the other one is. Um, get a little more. There we go. I'm seeing in the light that I didn't quite hit all those spots. I love the lines through that black pencil and how it just kind of makes it look like, like ground. You know, like it's just, you know. Yeah. So there we go. Have faith. Life is beautiful. Amen. Praise God. You guys, I love you. I hope you know that. Please be blessed. Please be safe. If you need prayer for anything, please let me know. Um, or if you just want to stop by the Facebook and send me a message and say, hey, hi. <laughs> I love that too. So I will talk to you guys soon. Well, no, I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a great one. Take care. Bye.